Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a project called Hello Meme. It's a project which allows you to use an input image and then use a driver image. The project will basically get the face pose and then the expression from that driver image and then transfer it over to the input image. And here's an example of what you can expect. This is going to be our input image and this is going to be the driver image. It's going to extract the face landmark as well as the expression. We also have the pose here and then it's going to transfer it over to that input image and you can see the output here. As always, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Here is the GitHub repository and you can go through to check out the introduction as well as the different workflows. Everything is included when you install the custom nodes. Now, if you want to manually download the models, this is the node that you'll need. You'll need to place your checkpoints here and your LoRa's here. The actual Hello Me model will be downloaded automatically. You will need to make sure that you have an SD 1.5 model and if you want to use LoRa's, again, it's going to be SD 1.5 compatible. And if we go into the project homepage here, you can see an example. It can also do video, by the way. And uh, well, this is the maximum that I can zoom in, but this is going to be our input image, reference image. And this here is going to be the driver image. It can also be a video, like I mentioned. Basically, it's going to extract the individual frames from that video and for each frame it's going to extract the face pose as well as the expression and then transfer it over to that reference image here's an example of what you can expect and here's a node that it requires sd 1.5 whether it's the lora or the checkpoint now for me i'm going to use realistic as my main checkpoint and I'm not going to use any LoRa, but if your reference image or your input image was generated using SD 1.5 with a LoRa, then for best result, you want to use that same LoRa here. All right, so you start your comfy UI, go into the manager, and then go inside the custom node manager. At the top here, search for hello meme, and then install this one here that says comfy UI hello meme, and the author is Hello Vision. Click on install. Once it's completed, it will tell you to restart. So click on restart button here. Click on OK. Once restarted, go into your terminal and make sure that Comfy UI Hello Meme was installed successfully. There's no errors here. Now, like I mentioned, everything is included with the custom node. So the workflows and the example images are also included when you install the custom node. So let's go into the menu here, workflow, click on open, and then go into your Comfy UI folder. So mine is in AI, Comfy UI portable. Go inside the Comfy UI folder, scroll until you find custom nodes, go inside it, and then look for the Comfy UI Hello Meme folder. In here, you will see two folders that we are interested with, the workflows and the examples one. Let's go into workflows first and you will get a couple of versions for the image workflow. There's also one where we have a video as the driver below here. Now I'm going to start with the one that says hello meme underscore image. So click on it and then click on open. It will open the workflow. At the top here is going to be the input image, the reference image. And then the one that is below is going to be the driver image. That's where you're going to get the face position as well as the expressions. Now, when it comes to expressions, it's mainly looking at the eyes and then the mouth position. So for your reference image, you can select any image. I'm going to select this one here. And then for my driver image, I'm going to select this one. Now next, find this load hello meme image pipeline custom node. And in here is where you will select your checkpoint. So like I mentioned, you will need to select a 1.5 as the 1.5 checkpoint. 
In my case, I'm going to use this one here, Realistic Vision 5.1. Since this checkpoint has a VA included, for the VA dropdown, I'm going to select same as checkpoint. Like I mentioned, I'm not going to use any LoRa, but if you are using a reference image, which was previously generated using SD 1.5 or any other checkpoint, then for best result, you want to input that same LoRa here. Now, next, everything should be good. Some of you may not have this upscaler model. So in that case, you can go into manager here, go into model manager and search for real and then install this one, the 2X version. Now, that's all that you need to know. Everything else here that you're seeing here is meant for the Hello Meme to identify the landmarks and then extract the pose and the expression. Now, this here is similar to K-Sampler. It's where you'll input your number of steps, speed, you can fix it if you want to, and so on. So let's click on Q at the top. Now for your first time here in the terminal, you will see an output like this where it's actually downloading the model. And this may take some time for you. For my first time, it took about five minutes to download all the models and then generate an image. But after that, you can see here we have 25 steps and it takes about 30 seconds on a 4070 Ti here. And you can see the result here. So this is the input image. This one is the driver image. And then this here is the result. So input, we have the face pose and the extracted from this and then transferred over to this one. And now we have this here as the final image. Let's do another example here. So now I'm basically transferring the expressions from a male to a female character. And this as well work since it's getting the expression from here and then the pose from here. Okay, so here's another one. Now let me do something else here. I'm going to use this image and you can see that the face is not the main focus here. And when I click on QProp, I get this message here. It's an error message. It tells me that the get face landmark is the problem and you can see that it's stuck here so basically it cannot identify the landmarks on the face if you get this you can try to crop to just the face or you can simply use a different image as your reference so i'm going to change it click on view prompt and now you can see that it's going past this face landmark node and here's the result using this as the driver image now i'm going to change the workflow so let's go back into workflow at the top click on open you should already be in the comfy ui hello meme workflows folder if not just navigate back to it and select any of the video workflow i'm going to select the first one click on open and it's going to tell me that I have a couple of missing nodes. Click on the X icon. Let's go into manager at the top. Click on custom nodes manager. And then at the top here, search for video helper V and then install it. After installation, again, click on restart. Okay. Restart your comfy UI. Once restarted, you should now have these two nodes. It's basically to load the driver video and then extract the frames from it so in this load video node here click on choose video to upload and i'm going to use the example video so let's go back to that comfy ui hello meme folder examples and then select the video from here it's in mp4 video click on open and you can see the video here okay so i'm going to load my reference image back by the way you can use any any other reference image if if you want to now same thing we have to select the checkpoint from here and then click on the q prompt now this one will take longer since it's going to do this these steps here on the individual frames of this video so depending on how many frames your video have then it's going to take that 
amount of time. In terms of system resources, for me, it's a little bit less than seven gigabytes of VRAM when doing the video workflow. Okay, so it's completed here and you can see the result here. Basically, it's each frame and it's trying to get the pose as well as the expression here. So you can see the face actually turning same as this here, the input or driver video here. Now, here's a detail of the workflow in case you want to know what each workflow is doing. We have this here. So this is the one that I've shown you, the image workflow and then the video workflow, but there's also one for super resolution for image video. There's also a V2, which has this control net. And then there's a combination of V2 and then the SR super resolution one. And in case you're wondering, it also works with these stylized images. So here's a reference and here's the output. So this is the reference here and this is the output. It's able to transfer these, the, the pose, as you can see here, going from this to this. And the expression, the smile, uh, the eyes, a little bit of this here. All right, so this is it for today's video. Thank you for watching until the very end. Take care, have a nice day, and I will see you in the next one.